Hi everyone, this is Ofri from Duda's product team and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use your Duda site to sell tickets on Duda's native store. So this demo is going uh, to divide into three parts. The first part is adding uh, the store and the product. Second part is uh, designing your store pages. And the third part is uh, connecting all your buttons to your store and uh, publishing your store, setting your store live. So let's get started. So this is my site. It's called uh, Rhyme and Rhythm Festival. It's a music festival. And I really want to be able to sell tickets uh, online for my uh, festival. So the first step is very simple. I need to add my store. Great. So my store is ready. You can see that I, I have here a um, store main page with some sample products. Um, since I don't need those products, I'm only going to be selling a couple of tickets. I'm going to start by deleting them. I'll go to the product catalog. So I'm going to click here uh, to delete all product. Great. And now I'm going to do the same for the categories. Uh, there's only two, but I don't need any of them. Great. All done. Now I can go ahead and add my own products. I'm going to click here on the add product button. You can see that I have a list of uh, different product types that I can use. I'm going to go for service product type. It's used to sell tickets, events, vouchers, and more. That's exactly what I need. Okay, so my first ticket is going to be a one-day pass. Now I've already uh, prepared uh, some text for this. And I'm actually going to use uh, the AI assistant to improve my uh, product description. So let me click here and improve my writing. All right, I'm just going to review this text. I'm happy with it, so let's use it. I'm just going to uh, style it a little bit, add some bullet points here. And I'm going to add an image uh, of the ticket, which I've already prepared in advance. And price this at $85 and save. Let me just add uh, two more ticket types. I'm going to add them all as service type products. And my image. And then uh, my last ticket is going to be the VIP pass. Now for the VIP pass, I want to limit the number of people who can buy this type of ticket. I only have so much room in my uh, VIP area. So I'm going to toggle this on to track the number of customers purchasing this service. And I'm going to put the quantity at 100. I don't want more than 100 VIP guests. And I'm going to price this at $350 and save. So all my products are set up. Uh, if I just want to see how the product page looks on my site, I can go to preview and if there's a uh, product. Okay, so this is my product page. Um, not, it looks pretty good, but there are some things I want to change. For example, the background color in this section, I'd like to make it white. Also, I'd like to uh, see this uh, image uh, entirely and not just a cut version of it. So we'll go to media and background and toggle on the display full media option. Other than that, I think I'm very happy with, uh, with the way my product page looks. I can uh, go to this list and see all my products here and switch to any of them. For example, the three-day pass. 
And I can see that the design is exactly the same as uh, the other page. So any change I made to the design and the layout on one page will automatically apply to all my product pages. So that's great. I'm happy with that. And then I guess uh, what I want to see now is uh, my main store page. So I can go here to store pages and click on store page. Uh, so there is some default text here. I want to change it. Uh, you can see here that I have like an empty product gallery. This is the gallery that uh, presents the store categories. Since I don't have any categories, I actually don't need this section at all. So I'm going to delete it. And here you can see all of my products in a product gallery. I'm just going to make some adjustments here to make this look a little bit better. First of all, I don't need four columns because I only have three products. So I'm going to adjust this to three columns. And I want to show the full image here as well. So let's do that here. Uh, to make my images a little bit bigger, I'm going to to make my images a little bit bigger, I'm gonna make the row full bleed. And I want to make this text a little bit more prominent. So let's go to the text. Uh, make it bold, a little bit bigger, and I want it centered. And I don't want this row as well. Let's add some spacing here. Great, so I think I'm pretty happy. We changed this to tickets. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with the way my uh, store page looks. I just want to change the name of the page from store to ticket. And move it up to be the second item in my navigation right after home. Let's see how this looks on the home page. All right, this looks great. Uh, now I can go to all the buttons in my site that I want to link to the store page and link them to the tickets button. Link them to the to the tickets page. The last thing left for me to do in order to start selling tickets uh, on my site is to connect my store to a payment gateway. I can choose between any of the payment gateways available, um, connect it to my account. I'm going to skip this step now and just show you how it looks on the published site. Once you connect, uh, connect your payment gateway and purchase your store on your site. All right. So now that I'm on my live, live site, I can uh, go to my tickets page as a customer, uh, choose the ticket that I want. Add it to my cart and make a purchase. So this was my demo about how to sell tickets. So this, this is the end of my demo about how to sell tickets on your Duda site. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.